Good morning, 7th graders. Today, we will be learning about how Jesus multiplies the loaves of bread. Gabby is an only child and she is very happy. Her parents told her that her guardian angel is always by her side, so she always speaks to her guardian angel. She loves hearing stories told by her guardian angel. Good morning, my dear guardian angel. It's amazing how Jesus stopped the storm. Please tell me more stories about Jesus. Okay, Gabby. I'm so glad you're enjoying stories about Jesus. One day, a great crowd followed Jesus on foot when he crossed the Sea of Galilee. His disciples addressed him in the evening. This is a desert place, and the hour is already late. Send the crowds away so that they go and buy food for themselves. Oh no! So the people left hungry? No, Jesus said, You yourselves give them something to eat. But I thought there weren't any food nearby. Jesus asked the disciples, How many loaves are there with you? They replied, There is a young boy here with five loaves and two fish. How can five loaves and two fish feed all those people? They need more food. Let us see what Jesus did. Jesus said, You order the crowds to sit down on the grass. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish. He looked up to heaven, blessed the loaves, broke them, and distributed them to his disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. He did the same with the fish. Oh, wow! So everyone was able to eat? Of course, Gabby. When the crowd was fed, the remaining bread and fish filled 12 baskets. Do you know how many people were fed? Mmm, is it 100 or 200? No, Gabby. There were 5,000 men alone, and there were more including women and children. Wow! The young boy just had five loaves and two fish. Yes, this small amount of food was multiplied miraculously and given to the crowds. The entire crowd must have been so happy. Yes, they were. They exclaimed, This indeed is the prophet who is to come into the world. And that's from John chapter 6, verse 1 to 14. This incident revealed Jesus as a person who is concerned about the problems of people and willing to help them. Jesus will make manifold whatever little things I have, if only I give them to Jesus wholeheartedly. I resolve to offer to Jesus all that I have. Now let's see what we should do. I will offer to Jesus whatever I have. Let us pray. Lord, give us this bread always. John chapter 6 verse 34 Let's sing a song. With five loaves and two fish In the hands of the Lord makes a big, big dish One little boy gave up his lunch And Jesus let five thousand munch With five loaves and two fish In the hands of the Lord makes a big, big dish one little boy gave up his lunch, and Jesus let 5,000 munch. Here is today's memory verse. I am the bread of life. John chapter 6, 
verse 48. Now let's have a quick Q&A. Jesus multiplied blank loaves and blank fish to feed 5,000 men. That's right! Jesus multiplied five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 men. I am the blank of life. That's right! I am the bread of life. What did the people who were fed say about Jesus? You got it! The people said, This indeed is the prophet who has come into the world. What is the character of Jesus revealed in the event of multiplying loaves? That's right! This incident showed how Jesus is concerned about the problems of people and is willing to help them. Here is today's activity. The young boy gave his five loaves of bread and two fishes to Jesus when he asked for him. What are the talents you are going to give Jesus and how would you use them for him? That's it for today's lesson, second graders. And remember, God loves you. See you soon. Bye.